first step is to remove these plastic trim pieces here located in the lower grill, one on the passenger side and one on the driver's side. First we'll remove these two plastic rivets. And that will expose two T50 bolts, one here and one on the other side. And here's a close-up of what that Torx bolt looks like. Now you might also have a few rivets at the bottom of the pork chop splash panel here to remove so that the bumper can slide forward. recommended to put down a blanket or something to protect the paint uh, on the front surface of the bumper before you remove it totally from the car. And finally disconnect each fog light plug. Now to access our auxiliary fan located here behind the kidney grills, we're going to first need to remove this shroud. Uh, so we're just going to search around the perimeter of this shroud and uh, remove it, all the attachment points. Um, there's a few 8 millimeter screws, uh, remove this snorkel uh, for the fresh air intake right here, uh, looks like a 10 millimeter. Remove this 10 millimeter. Now there's also a sneaky 8 millimeter right here for the shroud.
Now I'm surprised that we have to do this, but it looks like I also have to loosen up the headlights here to allow for some room for this plastic cover to come out. So we'll remove two eight millimeter screws from the top of each headlight. So there's actually four 8mm bolts, two on the radiator shroud or radiator support, and two more tucked away on the lower portion of the headlight. disconnect this plug for the auxiliary fan. And with this headlight out of the way, we can see another eight millimeter securing this plastic cover to the car. Here's another view of the four 8mm screws that secure the headlight to the driver's side of the car. There's two here on the support, one back here, and then one just out of your view down here. Now with this headlight out, we can see the final 8 millimeter right here. Now one of the symptoms of a bad auxiliary fan is that you might notice your AC is cold only when you're moving at speed, uh, maybe 30 miles an hour or greater, and that's because airflow is flowing through the condenser coils here that keep the air conditioning functioning properly. At low speed in traffic uh, or bumper to bumper driving, this fan will kick on and push airflow through the coils, uh, the condenser coils for the AC, and keep it cold. And finally, we have four 13 millimeter nuts. One, two, three, and four. Now that the fan is removed, we can go ahead and clean up all these fins and coils here. This is the AC condenser. And behind this is actual, the actual radiator.
Okay guys, here is the new fan. And as always, I will link this up in the description below. Uh, go ahead and order from that link to support this channel. And here is the new fan next to the old one. I should also mention, don't be tempted to spin this. Uh, doing so can put unnecessary strain and damage the electric motor. With our shroud back in place, we can reattach the snorkel piece, slide the headlights back in, and continue assembling the car. Now with some movie magic, we will complete the rest of the job.